do, 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 do. Okay, so welcome guys. So in this video, uh, I'm going to try to prove the Gibbs inequality. Okay, and I will provide some uh, detail. Okay, I will provide the, all the details. Okay, so let's talk about setting. So let's say P is like P1, P2, Pn. So it's the probability distribution. Uh, this tree, sorry, distribution. <laughs> Okay, so that means uh, this pi are all real numbers. Oh, sorry, a positive number. Earlier, uh, sum is one, and the of is also larger, or oh, greater or equal to zero. And also, we have a q, right? It's also a probability distribution. So q1, q2, up to qn. It's also a probability sum of qi, y is one, and uh, each qi is greater or equal to zero. So the Gibbs say that the theorem, the following theorem is correct. Uh, what it says is that this negative pi log i log pi from i one to n is well less than the negative i from one to n pi log qi. Okay. So this is the called the Gibbs inequality, and uh, this can be proved. Somebody, if you are familiar with machine learning or something. Then you can define a so-called uh, KL divergence. So KL divergence of two uh, probability distribution uh, is defined to be, uh, I think it's this one. <coughs> uh, uh, so uh, let me see. Uh, right, if you add these two, okay, sorry, sorry about it. So you get the, yes, uh, right, you get QIPI, right? So this is called the KO divergence. And the fact is that the KO divergence is greater or equal to zero by this Gibbs inequality. Okay, I mean, this is just some consequence that uh, just tell you that why KO divergence is greater or equal to zero because the Gibbs inequality. Okay, so now uh, we can go to the proof. Okay, so let's prove a stupid lemma. Okay, so lemma is that, uh, let's say for x is zero at the zero one interval, then the, then what? Then x minus one minus long x, right, greater or equal to zero. <coughs> okay, so let's define this as f of x. And it's obvious that f of zero, right, will be negative one minus uh, plus infinity, right? Because x approach to zero is infinity. So you say this is obvious infinity. And f of one is what? F of one is also zero, right? It's zero, right? And f prime of x, x minus one minus, sorry, it's plus one minus one over x, right? So it's, it's less than zero, right? But it's uh, monotonic. Right, so that means your function look like look like when x goes to infinity, which is uh, very high, and at one, that becomes zero. So it looks like this, right? So at zero, at one, from zero to one, which is positive. Okay, so this is the lemma uh, we will use. Okay, so this lemma is yeah, we will quickly use it. Okay, so let's quickly dive in the proof. So we start from here, right? So that's let me just cons that I I just want to consider at least some. Uh, so let's say pi divided by qi. So let's take a look at this sum. So this sum is basically this one. Right, I can skip this. <coughs> right, I can just change this log as this. All uh, right, and uh, uh, by the lemma. They might tell us that a long x right, will less than x minus 1. So we'll less than i from 1 to n, pi. Okay, so qi divided by pi. So qi divided by pi minus 1. So this is summation i from 1 to n, qi minus i from 1 to n, pi, which is 1 minus 1 is 0, right? Because there are probability distribution. So this tells you that i from 1 to n, pi log pi qi is less than 0. Right, go back here. And uh, you flip a sign, right? You can flip a sign becomes this one. Uh, 
uh, let's say okay so you you get this right so you can uh, uh, check this right if you expand this right if you expand this then you get the negative i from 1 pi log i plus uh, i from 1 log pi qi less than 0 so you change it you change this turn to the right hand side then you get this one okay and also i think you can get uh, uh i think you can get right because this one is less than zero right so if you make a side change as qi pi then you get this one right right so it's correct okay so this is the proof <coughs> the proof is very trivial okay okay so there let me just i want to make a two remark Okay, and the first remark I think is uh, really uh, not very difficult because the e equality holds, right? If the equality holds means that x equals to 1 in the lemma, right? In the lemma, x needs to equals to 1. So that means uh, the equality holds means for i equals pi, right? So that means all of the, the p and q are equal probability distribution, are equal probability distribution okay also let me just talk about second second is very uh, people like right you can so people usually define h is entropy if somebody give you this probability distribution to be this one right and the one fact is that the entropy h will less than log n so basically you can use the you can use the uh, Lagrangian multiple to prove this right but now we have skips inequality so we can easily prove it right so we just choose qi to be one over uh, one over log n right so this turn will less than uh, i right and pi log n right then this is minus is log n summation pi so it's log n okay so we prove that the uh, entropy is less than log n by Gibbs inequality. Okay, uh, I think this is the enough for today. So this is just a very short video. I just want to prove the Gibbs inequality and quickly summarize its property. Okay, I will see you guys in the next videos. Be sure to subscribe to my channel.